Hello everyone and welcome back to Fortnite event. So today I'm gonna help you to make a cinematic trailer to your island or any cinematic in general. So the first thing we're gonna do is going to window and we press here on place actors. And once you pl place here, you just go until you find cinematic, just click on that and this is where we're gonna drag our camera. Once you put the camera, this is actually what camera can see on on the on the island. If you double click on the camera, you will go to to the camera directly. But of course, the camera is just looking into that direction. We need to make a better scene, so I'm gonna move the camera up. And as you can see, as long as the camera is moving, the scene will be different. Also, I can uh, rotate the camera either from uh, here, just to rotate it, or I prefer going into details and just rotate it from here. So yeah. And once you place the camera exactly where you want, what, what is the next move is simply by double click on that camera. So, so you can actually cl right click here and just press rename. You're gonna call it as test camera. Renaming the camera is important in general because you might make multiple scenes in one side. If you have only one scene, it doesn't matter. Just leave it as the sign camera actor. Just after renaming the camera, we're going to close this one. We don't need it anymore. The next thing we're going to do is actually make the cinematic. So we're going to press here on content drawer, then right click here and we press cinematics and we're going to add a level sequence. Okay, after adding this, you can also rename it uh, whatever you want. So I'm going to call it test. And then I double click on that sequencer. And as you can see, this thing will appear. It's like it's like a movie. You see, of course, we're going to uh, learn everything on how to edit that. The first thing you should know that if you press control and the wheel and the mouse, you can make it bigger so you can actually increase the, the cinematic, the amount. Here. You can also change the FPS if you want to make it 60 FPS. Of course, it will be better. So I'm gonna just make it 60 FPS. The next thing we're gonna do is actually to add our camera into that uh, movie or that sequencer. So how to add that camera? You have two options, either by pressing track, then go to here, uh, actor, then you search for camera. And as you can see, this is the test camera we have. Or the second option is by simply Okay, this is our camera. Simply just drag our camera and drop it here. And now I can see what camera can see. And actually I am currently moving with my camera. So we need to, to choose the beginning of our cinematic. So I'm gonna go all the way back. Yeah, I will start the cinematic to show all the island. This is how I'm gonna show my cinematic. And since this will be my beginning of my cinematic, I should make this at the start, at the beginning, at 0000. Then I will go all the way down until I find transform. Then I will make plus on the location, plus on the rotation, plus on the scale. So now this will be the beginning of the cinematic. Every time I move, it will be also move with me. So let's now move it a little bit to go to 0.06. Let's go and I'm gonna move the camera a little bit to forward. Then again, I'm gonna press on location, rotation and scale. Then I'm gonna move a little bit. Let's like it, make it 12. Okay, 13, 12. Then I will, instead of moving forward, I will just make like side movement like this. Then again, I'm going to press location, but this time when I press location, it's actually locked in the other direction. So I'm going to fix the location first, fix the direction of the camera first. Then I will press rotation, then press scale. Then I will move again to this side. And uh, of course I forgot because if I try to move the scene, the camera will back to the original side. So I need to move it first to where I want here. Let's say here, then I move. Then again, I'm gonna press three, location. I need to move the camera to look at this direction, rotation and scale. Uh, I'm gonna make it smaller now. I don't really want to continue doing that. Just, I wanna make the scene smaller. So this is only the cinematic. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna now go to the beginning. And by the way, if I moved, this is how 
the cinematic is moving. So now I'm gonna start like by pressing start to see how the cinematic will be looks like. Now let's say it's moving too fast in this rotation. So what you're gonna do is simply let's extend that to here and I'm gonna select these three. Then I'm gonna drag them to the right and I'm gonna play it again. Let me play it from the beginning. So it's fast, fast, and then it's extra slow at this here. If you feel like it's must, it must be faster, just drag it to here. And yeah, like let's see it now and play. Did you see? It's just super fast. And after finishing your cinematic, simply you're going to close that from here. And if you want to reopen it again at any time, you can just double click on the cinematic so you can actually re-edit or even delete the entire cinematic and just remake it from the beginning again. Anyways, just close that. Now it's time to add the cinematic into real island. So what you're going to do is simply press on content drawer. So go to all, then search for cinematic. Of course, this one, let's just drag it and put it at any direction, at any location. Let me here, yeah. And after this, once you are selecting this cinematic, go to details. In case if you cannot see details, again, go to window. Then uh, from here, just make sure you are seeing details. Then in, in details tab, you will see this sequence. Uh, what I'm gonna do is dragging or uh, putting this sequence where I already did uh, in my project, this sequence into here. I can just drag it and put it here just in case if you cannot drag it you can just press here and search for it until you find it most likely you will find it the only one because we don't have any other sequence in our scene and after that to make the cinematic intro playable into your island you have too many options like the first option is to make auto play like if you press on auto play in that case you will see this one so it will tell you when exactly that this cinematic should be working like pre-game waiting for cameras warm up in progress etc i'm not gonna uh make the auto play i'm gonna make it as bottom like if you press on that button it will be working so what i'm gonna do is going to content drawer again and this time i'm gonna search for button and i will just drag this button here and as you can see if any if anyone press on that button, he will be able to play the cinematic trailer. So uh, uh, firstly, we need to connect this button to this one. We need to connect these two. So what I'm going to do is going down until I find play function. Then I will press add. Then I'm going to press on that bin here, then drag it and just click on that button. And as you can see, the button become here. Now I'm going to press on none and make it on interact. So now every time I interact with that button, the scene will be playable in this map. 